into production. It was the U-boats of the German Navy which used rotating wing aircraft in action. It was called Bachstelz, water wagtail, and was manufactured by Focher Arklitz, an autogyro kite carried in knockdown form and quickly erected by the crew. Until the advent of the hang glider, it was probably the simplest and lightest aircraft ever built. The rotor was started up by hand, and even in a calm, the wind created by the U-boat speed was sufficient for takeoff and flight. The purpose of Bachstelz was simply to extend the very limited horizon available to the U-boat and to spot for likely targets. The cable attaching the kite to the submarine contained a telephone wire for the pilot to report. In the right conditions, the kite could climb to about a thousand feet, giving a wide range of vision. If a target was spotted, the autogyro was winched down. If, however, an Allied warship was sighted, the observer had to word his report with some care, or the U-boat would crash dive, leaving him, very temporarily, aloft. The drill was then to jettison the rotors, which automatically deployed a parachute which lowered the pilot and the fuselage down to the sea, where, in the words of a British wartime report, he drowned in the normal way. It's doubtful if Marshall saw much, if any, truly operational service, but after the war, several were evaluated by the Allies. One of the RAF officers who examined the midget autogyros was 